You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. I, I, I got to do this real quick for my panel before I let them go, y'all. Um, in fact, can y'all just run the crazy ass white people stinger one more time? Just one more time, please. Roll it, please. <laughs> I'm white. I got you, huh? Illegally selling water without a permit on my property. Whoa! Hey! Hey, remember, give me your You don't live here. I'm uncomfortable. Y'all go to my iPad. Donald Trump actually tweeted this today. In three and a half years, I've done much more for our black population than Joe Biden has done in 43 years. Actually, he set them back big time with his crime bill, which he doesn't even remember. I've done, I've done more for black Americans, in fact, than any president in U.S. history, with the possible exception of another Republican president, the late, great Abraham Lincoln, and is not even close. The Democrats know this, and so does the fake news, but they refuse to write or say it because they are inherently corrupt. See pinned above. Which one of y'all want to go ahead and deal with this? Take y'all pick. Why are you asking us this? Why would you put that on? No, Why because are you doing that no, 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 no. Because I'm, here's the I'm most not here, to here's that. the most laughable thing: the possible exception <laughs> of Abraham Lincoln. This fool actually right. thinks that the little crap he's done is on par with the Emancipation Proclamation. This how this how dumb this fool is. Well, but, but also, Roland, back I, up. I think it, uh, <laughs> thanks to this Roland, seventy I, day. Hold on, delay. Scott. Scott, go ahead. Yeah, I, I also think it points. <laughs> hold on, Robert. Hold on, Robert. Robert, Robert. Scott, 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 then Robert. Go ahead, Scott. Okay, he can't claim uh, uh, high black employment because he waited his seventy days, so that's out the window. The uh, Reform Act that uh, freed some uh, in people in prison. Uh, that really didn't go far enough, if you will. There's so much more work to be done, and that started before him by both Democrat and Republicans on the Senate uh, and, and House side. I don't know. I think he's just delusional. And he comes up with these ideas, and he tweets on them, and he thinks that we will believe what he has convinced himself to believe, and so he just puts it out there, if you will. And it's just irrational thoughts. <laughs> and so I don't know why you even went back to No, 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 because here, here, here's why. Because, Robert, today... The DNC had a black media roundtable call. And just as it started, Paris Denard sends out this email talking about uh, Black Lives Matter to Donald Trump. And then I then retweeted. I said, you know, it's interesting that Michael Steele came on the Tom Jordan Morning Show, my News One show. He writes mm -hmm. previous came on one time, Robert. I said, Rona McDaniel, Daniel, she ain't done no black media. I'm like, so don't try to sit here and play this little game. And, and, and but but. I just wanted to show people how insane this man is because he, the possible exception. So he actually thinks he's in the same conversation with Abraham Lincoln when it comes to black people. As if President Lyndon Baines Johnson didn't exist uh, when it came. Booyah. Go ahead, Robert. Just, just go ahead and talk about it. Booyah. <laughs> I, I, think, I think the bigger issue is that it's arguable. And the reason being, the bar is set so low for what presidents have done for the black Americans in this country. You can basically X out the first 150 years of president because we were in slavery during that. Then you have Lincoln. Then you can go another 50 years until you get to FDR. Then you get FDR, Truman, Eisenhower, and uh, Kennedy, LBJ. Then from there, you can X all the way out till you get to Obama as far as doing things for the black community. So what we do have to do is have a very serious look at what America has done to black people in this but, country but, but, and what we need to have done to black people in this country. I'm taking the hyperbole of the tweet out. I think we do need to have a historical analysis of what needs to be done for the black community and what has been lacking over the last 200 years in this country. But here's the deal, though, Mustafa. We can do all of that, but the reality is, I, look, for all of how sorry Richard Nixon was, if you actually read Bob Brown's book, you get a real understand. Richard Nixon did more for black people than what Donald Trump has done. Almost every president has. You know, when people pose that question, you know, it's very simple. What have you done? Because he never has a response for that besides one item 
in over three and a half years that he can point to. But we can point to the fact that he tried to roll back voter protection, that he has tried to roll back civil rights, that if you look in the housing context, the, you know, the disparities that continue to exist there. If you look in the environmental context, rolling back all those laws that black and brown people have been fighting for because they were dying. So we can go down the laundry list of the agencies and departments and the policies and the rules that they have in place and just ask the question, what have you done that has helped black people or people of color to be in a better position? And when you can only point to one part for one thing in three and a half years, that answers the question that you haven't done a damn thing for the people that need your help the most. And, mm -hmm. and we'll leave it there. Gentlemen, I really appreciate it. Thank you so very much. All right, folks, that's that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. These amazing headphones here, black owned company. Of course, we had her on the show talking about it. Y'all, these are 360 degree. 4D headphones. Gamers love them, uh, but you can also talk. They are Bluetooth. The sound is amazing. I'm telling y'all, I, I got a lot of headphones. I really love these headphones. Uh, and so for our, for our viewers, and let me tell y'all something, y'all have been amazing supporting this black-owned company. It's been great. Here's the code. If y'all want to buy these headphones or you want to buy the virtual reality headset uh, that they have on sale, pull a code up, please. Use this code. RMVIP2020, RMVIP2020. Go to seek.com, C-E-E-K.com. See y'all, we support black owned businesses here. That's what we do.